Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and this is Restoration Rescue. So last week's video, we came in, we laid some filler in after we put it in this brand new door handle. And that took a lot of time and a lot of effort that we weren't expecting to do. But in good news, now we have all week to get this ground down, flip it over, do the filler on the other side door, and start doing filler on the hood. So we have a lot of stuff to come. So let's hop right in, start grinding away some of this filler, making this thing look pristine. So we have the front of the door all sanded down. It is looking fantastic. So now we need to flip it over and start working on the other side. So it did take a little bit. We got it all ground down. We're gonna grind down some of the paint off of the front, um, the back door and then start laying some filler. Then hopefully we'll be moving on to the hood, laying some filler there and getting this thing all squared away. So let's go ahead, turn this door over and get to the backside and start grinding away some of that ugly old paint.
right, so we have gotten all the filler laid out that we can. Unfortunately, we ran out of filler, as you can see up here, and the complete other side of the hood. But now what we need to do is we need to start sanding it back. It is very thick. It is gloopy, gloppy, whatever you want to call it in some spots. It definitely needs to be ground back, made smooth, and made look beautiful. So let's go ahead, whip out that Orville sander. We're going to work on the door first, and then we're going to hop over to this hood and get this thing looking smooth. All right, and we're done with sanding back the filler. Well, just kidding, we made a fatal flaw. 
is actually two things that we screwed up. So we had to grind it all the way back down to bare metal. And one of those things is I didn't sand down enough on the bare metal so it had nothing to stick to. Then when I was doing it, as you can see, we have these big flakes of junk. I didn't mix it well enough. So we had a lot of issues there. So what we need to do next is when the new filler gets here is continue to fill the hood. So at least on the door, the door is perfect. There was a lot of grinding back from when we were doing the welds. Now we had no welds that we did out here. This side was okay because I used the, um, I remember we used the uh, SCT tool when we were sanding. So it did leave some grooves and marks. So this wasn't as bad. It was easy to get off for the most part. Uh, this panel right here was completely horrendous getting it off. But we do have one spot over here that we had to fill and that came out really great. We're probably gonna refill over it again and sand it back. But we have run out of time for this week. We'll see you guys next Saturday. But hopefully we have the filler here. We can fill this whole hood, get this hood ready for its final preparations for primer and then paint. And then all we have left to do for rust is take care of the cab extensions. One of them had some severe rust through, so I have to cut out some panels and put that together. And then the other one, we just have to put a um, fix one of the bolting mar uh, holes. So that's not gonna be too hard. That'll probably be in with next week, hopefully, if we can get the sanding and filling done. So we're really excited because we have to get the fender set, the inner fender set, and the cowl set as well. Those shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna get this thing ready for some primer and hopefully have it outside in a couple weeks. We're gonna have to wait until it cools down a little bit because it's about 90 something degrees out. But again, we have run out of time this week. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, smash that like. And if you like the channel, make sure you consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys next week. And don't forget, share with your friends. We'll see you guys next Saturday.